Hey, what's up my friends? Welcome back to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and you're watching Sprinkler TV. Today, we're taking a look at the Toro TMC 424. This is a modular controller that has features that some irrigation controllers don't have. So let's flip the camera over and do our normal sprinkler nerd unboxing. This is a little bit big for the desk that I'm sitting at. All right, there we go. Very nice boxing by Toro. Everything seems safe. Oh, except these keys were kind of floating, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Let's take it out of the package. Let's not waste any time. Toro TMC 424. For those of you more familiar with Toro's line of controllers, they used to have something called a greenskeeper controller. The Toro's greenskeeper had been around for a long time. And then a new marketing person came into Toro and changed the sort of uh, branding on Toro controllers and the greenskeeper became the Toro TMC 212. And TMC, just like on this controller, stands for Toro Modular Controller, TMC. The greenskeeper was capable of two zones up to 12 zones. And the 424 that we're gonna take a look at here can handle four to 24 zones of irrigation. Let's see if this thing comes locked out of the box. It's, it definitely is locked out of the box. Let's use the key. What kind of key does this use? 1382. So don't be confused if your Rainbird or your Hunter key, they won't work with this Toro TMC 424. Couple things that look familiar here. We have a dial, very familiar. We've got a few buttons, plus, minus, next, previous, and then we've got a program switch. So there's not a lot of controllers anymore that have this program switch. This is like taking a little bit of the old in with the new. Again, we've got our standard Velcroed in instructions, handy dandy zone chart that you can use to keep track of your programming on the back. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the face panel. Oh look, there's the instruction manual right inside. Toro's done a decent job with packaging, look at that. We'll open this up, this feels like the zone module that we'll get to here. The face panel is removable. You can unplug the ribbon cable, which I'm gonna actually do so that we can see the ports there. There's a compression clip and the face panel comes right off. I'll hold this up so you can get a better look at it. Not much to, not much to talk about. There is a battery compartment here. Okay. So this is where you would install your nine volt battery. And for those of you not familiar with the nine volt battery, all it does is save the, essentially save the time and date on here, but it can't run your system because this irrigation system requires 24 volts. So the nine volt battery is really there just to save the time and date. Okay. Let's put that off to the side, jump back over. And we have our internal transformer. Since this is the an outdoor model controller, you will need a pigtail. I don't have one here, but a pigtail will wire up through the bottom and then you will remove this panel here. So let's go ahead and remove the cover to the transformer and the junction box. I also went out to the warehouse and I got a pigtail. So you will need a pigtail in order to install this controller. Pretty much any hardware store in America, you can find a pigtail. So that's all you need to wire it up. You're gonna put your pigtail again through the bottom here. Oftentimes you'll put a junction box or run conduit, run it up, wire it in here, and that provides your 120 power. And then you have your internal transformer that reduces the voltage down to 24 volts, which is what the controller needs to operate. Then let's go ahead and take a look at the module. Take it out. There it is. Before I install it, I'm gonna give you the close up because that's what this is all about. This is a four zone module. 
Toro makes four and eight zone modules for this controller. This is a standard module. So see how there's a lightning bolt here? This means it's a standard surge protection model. The other module I believe has two lightning bolts on it and that would be the module with extra surge protection. So the way this works is you take the module and you simply slide it up until it clicks in. Very easy to take it in and out. And if this were the eight station module, there would be four additional terminals up here. So this controller, again, the minimum amount of zones is four, but if you were to replace this with three eight station modules, that's how you get to 24 zones because three times eight is 24. That's why this is the Toro modular controller from four zones all the way up to eight zones. Then you have your common wires. They are installed here. You have your sensor wires for the rain sensor, and this has a jumper in it. So this is a normally closed rain sensor, and then there's a sensor bypass. So if your sensor is in rain pause or rain shutdown, you can flip this switch to uh, bypass. It's actually come standard in the bypass mode, not the active mode. All right, enough looking from the top down. A couple things that separate this controller from other Toros controllers and other similar controllers on the market is you can put multiple flow sensors on this controller and you can put multiple master valves on this controller. The purpose for having a flow sensor is if there was a leak in the pipe, then this uh, controller would sense that leak and it can send you an alert through the smart logic system that hey you got a break on your system so not a lot of controllers are able to to do that and have that functionality especially at this particular price point there is a standard surge module and if you live in florida or houston texas or parts of the country that are very prone to lightning you might consider upgrading and getting the uh, high surge module for this controller there's the back just for just to give you the full 360 spin on it and uh, yeah it's about it guys the Toro modular controller TMC 424 if you have a question about this that I haven't covered because of course I can't cover everything be happy to answer that question so anything I've missed just drop a comment down below we can talk about it right here on YouTube and we can also help you directly through Sprinkler Supply Store you can reach us by phone chat email and text message and I should have mentioned this in the beginning, but please like and subscribe. That is the best way to support the channel here on YouTube. So thank you so much. And until the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling. We'll see you then.